Welcome back to Poe Mrs. Channel. In this previous video, we show you how to install the Poe HBN 10.2M all-in-one solar inverter and demonstrate the wiring process. In this video, we will continue to show you how to configure the setting of the inverter. Without further ado, let's get started. The interface we see now is the main page after startup. Press Enter to enter the setup program. In the setup program, you can see the up and down button to navigate through the setting and press Enter to enter the setting of the each item. The first setting item 0 is used to restore your inverter. Press Enter to enter the setting item and press Down to switch to GOE to restore your inverter. Now switch to the setting item 1. Setting item 1 is for setting the alpha power priority. It plays a crucial role in the solar intelligent charging system and allows you to set the priority order of solar power, utility power, and battery power according to your needs. The default option is SUB priority, which means that solar power is the first priority to supply the power to the load. When the solar power is sufficient to supply all the load, utility power is used as a supplementary power source. When solar power is available or inefficient, and the utility power is not available, battery power is used to supply power to the load. This meticulous charging logic enables automatically switching of power source and provide a user-friendly power priority order that is tailored to your needs. Helping to maximize the efficiency of the intelligent solar system. The SVU priority option means that solar power is the first priority to supply the power to the low and the battery power is used as a supplement when supplying power to the low. Utility power is only enabled when battery power is sufficient. The USB option means that utility power will be first priority to supply power to the low. Solar power and battery power will only be enabled when utility power is available. Setting item 2 is used to set the maximum charging current, which is the sum of the charging current from utility power and solar power. The maximum value can be set to 160 amperes. Setting item 3 allows you to set the range of AC input voltage. The ABL option corresponds to the voltage range of 90 to 280 volts. And the UPS option corresponds to the voltage range of 170 to 290 volts. Setting so item 5 is for selecting the battery type. The available options are maintenance free lead aside batteries, flow date lead aside batteries, the custom battery type and the lithium battery. If you choose the custom battery type, you can adjust the setting of item 26, 27, and 29 according to your needs. To demonstrate the setting of battery charging parameter more comprehensively, we will choose the USC option here. Setting item 6 is used to enable the auto restart function during overload. Setting item 7 is used to enable the auto restart function during over temperature. Setting item 9 is used to set output frequency. You can choose between the 50 Hz and 60 Hz. Setting item 10 is for setting the output voltage. You can select a 230 volt, 240 volt, or 220 volt.
Sending item 11 is for setting the maximum charging current from utility power, which can be set up to 140 amperes. Moving on to the setting item 12, when selecting the SUV or SBU priority in setting item 1, this value will serve as the battery voltage criterion for switch the charging power source from battery power to utility power. Setting item 13 is the opposite of setting item 12. It serves as the battery voltage criterion for switching the charging power source priority from utility power to the battery power. Setting item 16 is used to set the charging power source priority. The SNU option means both solar power and utility power can charge the battery simultaneously. The OSO option means only if solar power is used to charge the battery. The CSO option means solar power is the first priority to charge the battery, and the utility power is only used when solar power is available. Setting item 18 is for the buzzer switch. Setting item 90 is the auto return to default screen function switch. This function is enabled by default, which means the screen will automatically return to the main page, the initial screen display after start off, after one minute of no button operation. Setting item 20 is for the backlight switch of the screen. Setting item 22 is used to enable or disable the alarm when priority is blocked. It is enabled by default. Setting item 23 is used to set the weather to enable bypass when overload occurs. If this function is enabled, the inverter will automatically switch to utility power when an overload occurs in battery mode. Setting item 25 can enable the default code recording function. If you choose USE in setting item 5, the next setting items 26, 27, and 29 can be configured. Setting item 26 is used to set the voltage for bulk charging. When the battery charging voltage reaches this value, it will automatically switch to boost charging stage. Setting item 27 is used to set the voltage for flow charging. When the battery charging voltage reaches this value, it will automatically switch to the flow charging stage. Setting item 29 is used to set the voltage for under voltage discharge termination. Setting item 13 is the switch for enable the battery equalization charging function. It is disabled by default. Selecting the EEN option enable this function. Once enabled, you can further configure the battery equalization charging function through setting items 31 to 36. Setting item 31 is used to set the voltage for battery equalization charging. Setting item 33 is used to set the duration of each battery equalization charging mode. Setting item 34 is used to set the extension time for battery equalization charging. It extends the duration when battery equalization charging set in item 33 has not reached the equalization voltage set in item 31 and cannot exceed the equalization mode normally. The extension time is based on the value set in item 34. Setting item 35 is the frequency of the equalization charging, which is set to every 30 days by default. Setting item 36 can be used to immediately enable or disable the equalization charging mode. Setting item 37 is used to enable grid connection operation. It's set to off by default, indicating off-grid status. 
If you choose HYD, the inverter will supply power to the load first and charge the battery. Excess power will be fed into the grid. Setting item 38 is used to set grid current. Please note that grid connection installation and operation should be carried out by professionals in compliance with professional certification and low grade specifications. Setting item 39 is the switch for RBG light. The RBG light can be used to identify the current operation mode of the inverter. This right indicates battery mode, blue indicates utility mode, and the purple indicates PV mode. Setting item 41 is used to enable dual AC output. This is disabled by default. If you choose L2O, the inverter will excuse the AC output according to the specification in the parameter table. Setting item 42 is used to set the voltage value for entering the dual output mode. After completing the configuration of setting item 42, you can press ESC to exceed the setting program. So far, we have completed the configuration of all the setting of the PO HBN 10.2M all-in-one solar inverter. If you have any questions about inverter setting or other questions about PO Mister products, please leave a comment in the comment section. To learn more about PO Mister products, please visit our website. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you again.